It's a basic core syllabus and it's done on a rote, so we return again and again with the same programme throughout the year. For each year there's this three set pieces, life, portrait and low relief. That's my basic staple diet. There is a strong technical backup here which is quite useful. Most of the tutors come out of the Slade or Royal College, which is basically the figurative tradition that stretches back to you and you glow and cold stream. So it's the, the very British take on it, which is based on quite sort of severe, some would say too severe, measurement and observation. But that's not such a bad thing when you're starting out. It gives a sort of useful structure to, to sculpture and to painting as well. We start out working from the figure so a lot of the part-time courses uh, all work from either having a life model there sitting standing or posed in various ways and clays are worked up into small versions of the uh, life figure they also do portraiture as well which is again working from the life model specifically looking at how to make a likeness and a portrait we do a low relief which is cast into plaster and then the plaster's worked and carved, so there's modelling and a bit of carving. Portrait heads, we have a, a series of models, and uh, again, we fire those or we do a bit of casting. I think what's interesting about carving in stone or wood is that it's a very calm, slow, reflective process. It's very different from the act of modelling. Things can happen very quickly when you're working with clay, but with stone, it takes a long time to involve, and that actually can be very enjoyable because you've got time to consider what it is you want to do. People are always worried about bits dropping off, but in practice, actually, it takes a long time for bits to drop off, unless you hit it really hard, and it's probably not something you need to worry about, and in any case, we can always stick it back on again. I think what attracts people to stone carving is just this lovely, reflective approach that you need to adopt. You need to look at the work for a long time before you hit it. So it has, a, it has a, that sort of slowing down of the thought process. It can be very therapeutic and be very satisfying. We train the students very traditionally in looking, it, you know, from the life drawing to the painting in its various guises. It is about looking, analysing and translating down onto the page, the canvas, the sculptural medium that you're using and through that look in it will hopefully give you the skills to explore the other ideas that you might have going on in the back of your mind but because you have those skills about thinking and analyzing in a very specific way it will hopefully open out that uh, ability to confidently explore what you want to do if we set up a particular type of work people react to it and in that reaction you get a kind of creative dynamic. It's quite heartening to see it because you feel you helped in some sort of way. You might have said something, you might have screwed something into position or made some sort of comment that might have been picked up and run with. 